Hello everybody, long time no see. I know, I know, but we're here with the new 2019-2020 Erin Condren Planner. Okay, so this is my first time I have ever dealt with a planner launch. Now, it went smooth for me. All I did was order a planner. I am waiting to order accessories. I wanted to kind of think about what I really wanted. I already knew what planner I wanted, so I really wanted to think about the accessories before I order them. I already know what I want, so that is that. So with that said, let's open this up. I will tell you this, I already flipped through this. I had to make sure everything was right. I didn't want to be shocked on camera. I don't want to be pissed off on camera. Everything is right. So here we are. All right, so yes, I have to say that this launch for me went pretty smooth. I, maybe because I didn't order a bunch of stuff, I don't know, but it went pretty smooth. So with this, I am going to do a flip through of the entire planner and give my thoughts on it. And then I will compare it to the current Erin Condren planner. I can't compare it to any past Erin Condren planners because I only started using the Erin Condren in September of 2018. So I'm going to measure the boxes. I'm going to place a header down because if you did not know, the corners are now rounded to let you know that you can still use your same Etsy gets. I have seen so many people complain about this. They're rounded. That's it. You can still make it rectangle. <laughs> Okay, let's get on with it. Okay, so like I said, I did, you know, I did open this already. What you normally get, you get like this, um, you know, this postcard that you can, you know, send to somebody and all this. So it came with, let me take this out. We'll, we'll talk about this in a minute. Hold on. Let's pull the box over here. Okay, so this is the box that the planner comes in. I ordered a neutral planner. So you get the neutral um, box. Now people have said it's not neutral, it's more muted colors. To me, neutral means neutral toned. It doesn't mean black and white. It doesn't, it's not monochrome. If it was monochrome, and it look, if they said monochrome and it looked like this, then I would be like, okay, Aaron, what are we doing? But neutral, neutral tones, these are neutral tones. I just didn't, you know, I don't know. But yeah, I got the neutral planner. And so I got the neutral box. But before I get into this, let me show you the freebies that you get. Now, on the website, it said you got two um, things of sticky notes. I got one and I got the charm. I am not gonna email Erin Condren about this because it's a gift, it didn't have to be sent to me. It's not a big deal. I did get the charm, which I think is cute. It says love to plan and it does People were saying, what is the other side? Like they were complaining about the other. I don't know. People complain to complain. I don't I don't get it. Um, and the other side says EC Insider. And so I think this is really cute. If it doesn't fit on your coil, uh, we can easily put it on your keychain. So that is those two gifts. And I appreciate Erin Condren doing that because it's something that they don't have to do. So that is the sticky pad. I love this. And I think it covers the whole entire notes side. Um, on your monthly or your weekly so this is good for if you just want to you know pre-plan out for the next week and you know stick it on there well, let's actually let's see how far the stickiness goes down on here just to give you guys because I don't know if you can actually purchase these oh it goes down to like right there so you get a pretty good amount of adhesive so it goes to right there so yeah all right so let's get into this planner okay so it opens like this and I don't know who said this box was cheaply made I don't think it's cheaply made I think it's a pretty good made box and I like it my planner's just gonna go back in here until July starts and when I start my other planner it'll go in the box you can purchase other boxes um, so yes this the, the box comes with the planner if you order the colorful you'll get the colorful box if you order the neutral you get the neutral box but you can purchase them for six bucks if you want to buy you know extra boxes for storage because of this box they took out the plastic pouch that comes in previous Erin Condren planners I will show you that and when I do the flip through of my previous of my current planner um, I don't mind if they got rid of it because I wasn't really using it to begin with and it kind of makes it bulky with the zipper on there I like this because I can easily store more things in here it doesn't interfere with my planner so yeah there we go Okay, so this is it right here, and this is great for all first-time Erin Condren people. If you're not sure what your planner comes with, this is what it comes with. You usually get a, like a welcome pack. You get um, some gift 
like some gift labels, you get some, you know, some quote cards. This little hexagon right here is to go over, like you can put a label on the side of your box and you can label it like you can do like 2019. And then you can purchase more boxes and you can label it for each year or label it for what you're putting in there. And usually you get a 20% off coupon, which is what I suggest everybody doing. Order your planner first, wait for your 20% off coupon, and then get your accessories. That way you save money. And so that all comes in there, just like that. So here we go. There is the gorgeous, gorgeous planner. Okay. So I ordered a neutral, but I loved the colorful kaleidoscope um, cover. So that is what I got. And I have my name on here with the year at the bottom. I understand. I, after I, it was like, it looks so gorgeous on the website. But I was like, oh, I pretty much dated my cover. Like, <laughs> you know, so like if I want to use it next year, you know, for 2020 to 2021, it's dated, it's no big deal. It is what it is. But I still love how it turned out. And just to get it this way, when you're personalizing your Aaron Conjure, you know where it says first name and then last name? Just put your full name in the first name column and then do this in the last name, and there you go. So it comes with a different ruler than previous years. It had the kaleidoscope um, pattern on there, and I love this one a lot better. It is like a frosted color, and this is the older one and the corners are more pointy than these ones. This is rounded and it is the same length. It is nine inches, but it is thicker. I mean, it's wider as you can see, but I like this one. This one feels a lot more sturdy. I love the design on here. I don't really care for the Woven Wonders design in general, um, but I love this. It just looks like ice. And so, yeah, that's what comes on there. And then you can use it as a bookmark, whatever. So like I said, I'm gonna flip through this planner. There will be timestamps when I start the flip through, and then there will be a timestamp for when I actually compare it, and I'm gonna measure the boxes and show you basically that they are essentially the same thing. All right, so open it up right here. You can use a, a wet erase marker on here. A lot of people do, and you can just, um, you can take acetone, like a Sharpie fine tip works on here, take acetone and gets it all off. I never really use this, you know, it's just the cover. I don't ever use it to write on. And you get this gorgeous piece of vellum right here. Let's zoom in a bit. Uh, and it says, on the go, life planner vertical layout. And that is a color scheme. That is, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's really, really pretty. And you can put your name right there. Zoom back out, there we go. So you get this, this is the color scheme of the planner right here. And I love the quotes, very simple, even though there's, a little you know a bit of color in here it's very muted it's very soft it doesn't feel colorful to me it just feels like neutral tones so yes so like I said I will go over the changes when I compare it to the other layout so I'll let's just flip through it okay so you do get um, 2019 to 2020 at a glance um, since most of the planners start in July it goes to December oh I forgot to mention I have an academic style planner it's the vertical layout but I did from July to June that way, when the new planners come out next year, I won't have any months that go to waste because I do have six months that are going to go to waste in no matter what planner I use. So I will talk about what I'm going to use with my current planner once I start, how I'm going to use my current planner once I start using this. But I didn't want any pages to go to waste next year, so I'm going to continue to do a July through June. And that's an option. You can do January to December of 2020. You can do the 18 month July through December of 2020. Or you can do like I did July through June. So it's really up to you, you have three options. So you get those um, two years, at a, one and a half year at a glance, and I love the stripe, the strip of the kaleidoscope neutral right here. Just that pop of color in there, it's very, very clean. A lot of people use this, they have the clear colorful dots, and you can, you know, birthdays, anniversaries, you know, school dates. And with me having kids, this is the perfect type of planner for me to have because I can plan around my kid's school schedule. So you have this page right here. These are lined right here. I like they don't have any months on them or no, there's no prompts because you can pretty much use it for whatever you want to use this. So I plan on using this for things that need to be done like at least once a month throughout the house. Like, you know, cleaning the oven or dusting on top of the cabinets or something like that. And then I'm just gonna put on my weekly, um, you know, when I'm planning my weeks to refer to this. You know to see what I need to do I want to utilize every single part of this planner I didn't I did not do that with my current planner but I love the way this planner looks so much I really want to utilize every single part of this planner so I have plans for this 
and we get into this right here you have this page this is your page for planning the upcoming month and you have the little hexagon right here and you have this so you can easily title this something like you know monthly planning or whatever you want and you can plan out your entire month and it says remember why you started july 2019 love the kaleidoscope behind it with the purple and then we get right here and you have this dot grid if you've seen the colorful the colorful is just it has this colorful border and it's blank i actually like the dot grid because it's going to help me keep my writing straight so what i plan on using this for is planning out this will be the plan out my month and this will be like like my different goals that I want to break down and do for the month and then this will just be the bullet point of the goals and I can refer to this of what I want to do and this is something very very new for Erin Condren this is like a dashboard if you use a happy planner you know you have the dashboard um, someone else I can't remember somebody's called this a command center which I love uh, that's what I plan on using this is like the this is how I start my month which it starts my weeks and so you have birthdays right here it says July you have the kaleidoscope monthly goals you have this dot grid right here you have this lined I will if there's a birthday coming up I will put a birthday but it doesn't necessarily have to be for birthdays you can easily wipe this out if you want put a strip of washi put a sticker over it and just use it for monthly to do's you know you can really the world is your oyster the planner is your oyster you can use it for whatever you want to use it for again you get the pop of um, kaleidoscope in there which I really really love then you get your monthly view and you get your note page over here. Sunday start like always. Love it. It's very, very clean. You're not getting a ton of color in here, even though you see it on, you know, the, the dashboards, the dividers. I like that when you're looking at where you actually need to plan. You know, it's it's very, very clean and it, it is very neutral. And so you get to the weekly view. I, oh my God, when I saw pictures of this, I said, this is absolutely gorgeous. I talked to my friend Jamie about it. I love it. I love that the holiday is very subtle. It's not bold out there because everybody doesn't celebrate all of the holidays, which is perfectly fine. I like that you get a little hexagon right here, and it's till it's on the first when the um, first starts. And I don't know about you guys, but I love that the 1st of July is starting on a Monday. You don't get none of the last month. It truly is a fresh start with your planner. The hexagon right here, if you've seen the colorful, the hexagon is a lot bigger. So a full box sticker, you will have no problem covering that up if you want. It doesn't bother me. It really doesn't. But like if I were doing like a Christmas spread, yes, I may want to cover that up. But for the most part, it's not going to bother me. I, like If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I'm very relaxed when it comes to my planning style. It doesn't really bother me. And so you have the curve. They are, the columns are separated. The days are touching. You get the line down here. And you get this over here. And like I said, let me take that notepad again. And so yeah, you can cover this all right here, which I like. Okay, so we're going to move on. Every week looks the same. We're just going to go through the dividers. Okay, so you have August. The tabs are gray. So you have August with this teal. And right here, August. And then we have September. Right here with this peach. I love this peach. It's very, very pretty. And then we have um, October, okay, October right here. There have been people who don't like that the tab is no longer on the monthly. I like that the tab is right here because I'll actually remember to look at this page. I always forget to look at my notes um, when I'm planning out my month. And now with this right here, I'll actually remember to look at this page. So I don't mind it, but everybody plans their different ways. So that's October. And then we have November right here and then December and then we have January with the peach again and then we have February and then we have March and then we have April. Then May, and we have June, and July. And then you have your notes. Oh no. It has the July monthly in here, but it 
ends on July 1st since I have an academic one. So I can plan out July in this planner to for future planning, which I love that. I think that's great. All right, so then you have your notes back here. You get one, two, three pages of notes. You have two dog grit. I love this kaleidoscope um, pattern right here. Very, very nice. So you get four pages of dot grid. Then you get a coloring page right here, a coloring page. You get this hexagon. Now, when I first saw this hexagon, I immediately thought Inkwell Press. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I used Inkwell Press from 20, all of 2017. What's 20? No, all of 2016. Further than that. What I plan on doing with this is I plan on taking this out, getting some coil clips, and putting it in my monthly deluxe planner. That's where I count my calories and, um, track my workouts. I want to use this for monthly goals. So that is what I will be using. I plan on, I, I'll tear this out once I get coil clips. I don't want to get damaged. Right here, I do plan on actually utilizing this. Um, I do have physical addresses for when I'm mailing things and I want to put them in this planner. So you have that and then you can plan 2021 all the way out for your future planning, which I love. And then you can put in the coming, oh, you can't see that. It says in the coming year right there and it also has it on this side so yes and then oh my god these stickers i love that they match the theme of a planner i have a neutral one now and the stickers are not neutral they're the bold colorful ones which they're not bad stickers but i love that erin Condren has changed it to make it match the actual color scheme and so I love this. I know I'm going to use these within the first month of this planner because the color scheme is my jam. So I love this. It's this, you know, this silver foil. Love it. And then you have these headers right here, your habit trackers, these right here. And I love these seasonal stickers. You have some birthday. You have um, grateful, so for Thanksgiving, you have Christmas, you have like St. Patrick's Day, Valentine. So a little bit, you know, a sprinkle of some seasonal in there, which I like. And then you have these header stickers right here. Oh my God, I love that gold foil that is in there. Love it. And you have a double-sided pocket. This is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. This double-sided pocket, and it does come with the perpetual calendar now the perpetual calendar only comes in colorful so it doesn't come with the neutral colors and i am i got one last year but i do plan on taking advantage of this like my buddy putting dates in here things that i that happen every single year i do want to take advantage and you do have the holidays and dates through here so you can mark them down love that so are you guys ready to hear me compare this let's get to it all right so this is the new one obviously and i do have my current one over here i want to measure the boxes because i'm tired of y'all complaining now i will take everything back if these boxes are completely different sizes so i want to go to i have an 18 month this is so bulky um let's go through to july right here all right and let's go to july let's go to the weekly view all right so here we go we got the new one and we got the old one so i'm going to take the new ruler and i'm just going to measure the current i mean the yeah the current box right here and the box right here without the header okay i'm just going to measure it with the, without the header it is two inches long in length okay and right here it is two inches so your sticker your full box stickers will still work okay it will still work yes praise god i know we were out here panicking i don't know um so yeah it still works now i what i want to do i don't want to stick it all the way down but i do have some etsy sticker kits in here and i'm pretty sure i have some headers i don't want to stick it all the way down because i don't want it to stick on the page so this is a header that i have used many times in this planner right here so i'm just going to take a header let's zoom in because since these are rounded corners, people are complaining that their stickers will not work. So it matches, which is cute. I'm just gonna put this right there. Oh my God. I know, it's a miracle. It fits, it, I can make it back rectangle if I want. So everyone out there complaining and panicking, it's okay. It's okay, it's still, you can still use all of your sticker kits. You don't have to throw your stickers away. You don't have to do a rack or anything like that. You can still use 
your stickers, okay? All right, so let's get to comparing these planners, okay? So there's some differences. There's some things added. There were some things taken away. Let's get to it, okay? Let's zoom back out, okay? So we have the vellum. Let's move this. This is just in the way. Let's move this. All right, we already got limited space going on here, okay? All right, oh, this is pretty, okay? Sorry, y'all. Squirrel. All right. <laughs> so you do get the um, the vellum right here on each page. There we go. And so you have the woven wonders and you have this. I like this a lot better. I do. So yes, you do get the vellum. And this is what this one looks like. And this is what. So you get, you know, the more muted color. So I like that she's, you know, she has really changed to make it to make the color scheme really go together. Unlike this one. Okay. So, as you can see, the pattern is a lot different <laughs> than, the, um, you know, than the kaleidoscope. So here is your, you know, year at a glance. And as you can see, this is just black and white. I actually like this better. I don't mind the pop of color. Um, I think they're both clean. I just like how this looks better. That's it. No, I don't hate one or the other. So yeah, there we go. So let's see what else is next. Okay, so let's go with these boxes right here. All right, so as you can see, I was gonna use them. Um, I was going to use them. <laughs> and so you have a different quote, obviously. These are lined, these are not. And I love that these are lined because I can put whatever I wanna put up here and then just um, write down. So I love that they're rounded. I love that they're aligned. And um, I like this new beginning, new mindset, new focus. It says motivation is what gets you started. Both good quotes. Planning is what keeps you going. New start, new intentions. New. So I like how she used the word new multiple times on here. So yeah. All right. So one thing that has, that has stayed the same is you still get the note page before every single month. That has stayed exactly the same. You just have, she got rid of the page flags on the planner page so you don't know you no longer have the page flags on your weekly view anymore so you still get the note page you do get this um, space up here to put a title up here or whatever you want to title this page but you didn't get that in that one so something was added and then you have your divider right here and then something that was um let's go to a blank month let's go to so when you started July in this planner, you know, you had your note page and then you just went right, you go right into your month, just like that, okay? Um, on this new planner, you go, you have, you go to this page, this dot grid, and you have your monthly dashboard. So you technically get one, two, three pages to plan out your upcoming month versus the one. I love that she has added more pages. That way you can really plan out your month before you get into planning your month. That way you can write out everything that's going on. You don't have to, you know, add things or use sticky notes. You, I mean, you may still use sticky notes, but you can really, really plan out your month before your month gets started. So yes. So the monthly view, um, let's see how the monthly view looks. I'll go to August. I have some sticky notes on there. Um, this is what the monthly view looks like. You know, you had just a um, strip of color right here, and you don't have anything right there. You do have the color of the month, though. There we go. But it still has, like, the little dots around the boxes and whatnot. So, and then you have your lines over here. They took away the monthly, the next month at a glance, and you get lines all the way down here, and they took that away. I don't mind that. I like that I get more space, so when I have a lot going on, I can do that. So, obviously, we know that... You know, <laughs> this is a, a much different layout. This is the current one. This is the new one. And I like that it's curved. I don't mind it at all. I think it gives it a softer look. I don't mind this box being gone because I just put a sticker there anyway, but I could still put a sticker there if I really wanted to. So, yes, they did add the month at a glance down here, which they didn't have over here. So they did add that. But I don't think it, for me, it doesn't take away anything in the planner. So that is that right there. Oh, and the tabs right here, the tabs are gray. 
on the new neutral and the tabs are black on the current neutral so just I like this it's gray it's it's very very soft so yes and so we get to the end of the planner and as you know this pouch no longer comes with the oops this pouch no longer comes with the planner but I mean you can always take it out and add it to your planner I don't plan on it because this is bulky the zipper right here so I am not going to be adding it to my planner uh, I'll probably take it out but let's get to the end of the planner and we'll look at the stickers let's get to the stickers okay if I can get to it that'd be great okay so this is the stickers right here that is the current I mean they have the current one and the newer one and as you can see these are bold bright and colorful which are great stickers are great quality but this matches the scheme a lot more as you can see so turn the page and that is what that looks like right there so you have a plethora of different stickers you can use different you know for bills and gem and just some you know some functional ones or ones to keep track of what you're doing and then we have um, I this kind of goes with this but then you have that these um, headers right here I love these headers a lot better because you don't have to worry about just staying in the white love these a lot better so yeah and then this is the folder right here so you get this same pocket on this side but on this side right here as you can see you can't even put a full piece of paper in here because of where it stops but on this side of the new one it's the same size so I like this better because it's more your stuff is more secure on both sides so yes that is the 2019 2020 planner and comparison to the 2018 2019 planner um i love the changes aaron condren has made to this planner I, I i cannot wait to get into this i will not be doing what a lot of girls do and uncoiling the last two months because technically i'm still using the same planner um i'm just gonna put this back in the box and wait patiently until july i can't wait to get into it i can't wait to see how you guys decorate and use your planner and see how your mission board mission yeah mission boards um dashboards command centers i can't wait so yes i do hope you enjoyed this video very lengthy but i wanted to make sure i covered everything so yeah if you have any questions or comments leave them down below if you're not subscribed go ahead and do that and hit the thumbs up if you like this video and i will see you all next time oh and if you want to sign up for Aaron Condren, there's a link down below if it's your first time you get ten dollars off and i'll get ten dollar coupon we both win so go ahead and do that and i will see you all next time bye